This is the adjective key. I'm going to write something and I want you to find the right thing, the right object. And my paper is stuck together. There we go. I want you to get me the the bead. Would you give me the bead, please? And it's hard to work with a tablecloth, but I put a piece of fabric on the table so the reflection wouldn't uh, hurt the picture. And so the child maybe gives me that one. And I'm, no, I really didn't want that one. So I'm going to write the label now. I want to have red. And I start to read again with the child. Red the bead. No, we don't say that. The bead. Red? No. How do we say that? The red bead. The red bead. The red bead. Now we write another label and the child would read it. The bead. And the child is finding a bead in the box and it might be this one here. No, I didn't want this one here. I want to have pink the bead. The bead. Pink no, what do we say? The pink bead. The child might not wait this long. The child might go and grab the bead first and then we read and do our transposing. The transposing is most important so the child will get a feel for where this word is supposed to be in the sentence. And so we continue until all the beads have been labeled. Uh, at this point, we introduce to the children the grammar labels. The child will use the grammar box with the labels. This is the first time that box is introduced. And you would say to the child, this one tells us if it's the or a or an. And this one tells us what it is. And this one here tells us how the object was, if it was long or pink or red or white. After all the um, birds have, been, have received their labels, their grammar labels, then the child might want to copy and the child will take some paper and the child can write the red bead. The, the child could write it in red or in, in black. I do not care so much what the, the children are doing. And then the child can either use for this activity the stencil or also stamps could be used. I have a set of grammar stamps and they can be stamped just with a black um, stamp cushion and colored in or the children can use a stencil and um, this one would be standing for the little blue one this one would be for the bigger blue one, and this one here would be for the dark one, for the black one. And so the child could take the colors and color in with the stencil. The, and this is the only time I let them color it in like this. I do not let them color metal insets ever like that, and they know that. Uh, they have to stroke freely. Red gets this one here. 
dark blue one. And bead, you can use the pencil for that. We can give it a symbol. So the child has uh, copied one of the phrases and can continue to copy them all and make a little booklet out of it. Uh, this should be all free will work. Uh, if a child does not like to write them, there should be no pressure put upon the child, but most of the time they enjoy making little booklets.